Welcome to part 55 of Final Fantasy VIII. In this episode, I was going to not only show you a grinding spot, but also to finish off the Choco Quest as I promised. Now, here's the thing. This is a Cactuar. These things are highly elusive. However, Squall is the only one to hit him because he's got 255% hit off the bat. Even when blinded. So, with that said, Squall will be the main person killing Cactuars. Yes, murdering those little sons of bitches. And by the way, I'm right here at the edge. How to get there? Well, you're gonna need either your, um... Airship up to a certain point, or your, um... Chocobo! Yeah, there is actually a Chocobo forest here! Yeah, run away you sons of bitches! Tell your friends who killed you! Oh wait, one's actually fighting back! Big mistake, buddy! Big mistake! But yes, you pull up, yes, on Citra Island, you pull up using the Balam Garden, got, get off, walk through the ravine, and actually fight your way through the Cactuar and the random enemies that are also there. If you have no random encounters on, you won't be able to get them. Oh, and by the way, I slayed 30 of these sons of bitches off screen, as opposed to the four I just slain on screen. Well, make that six. So in other words, I slain 36 of them. That is a lot of cactuars I murdered. Their blood is on my hands. Payback for not one, but two of the cactuar missions I had to deal with in Final Fantasy X and in X-2. And no, it won't be the Great Cactuar Hunt. But after murdering all these guys, let me show you exactly the end result of murdering all these Cactuars. I maxed out Quetzalcoatl. I think I maxed out Shiva too. Yeah, I maxed her out. I maxed out Ifri, and he's gotten Strength Bonus because of that. I maxed out Siren, and I think she has Magic Bonus. I maxed out the- no, I haven't maxed out the brothers yet. They only got two more abilities left. Let's see. And Leviathan hasn't been maxed out yet. He only needs to learn Recovery. Pandemona has a few skills left. Cerberus has a few skills left. But the one person I wanted to max out actually got the abilities I need max out, which is Met Level Up. And with all that said, let me reward myself with a Choco Break! This will be the last Choco Break I ever take, folks. Now this one, this one's a little bit tricky. However, it's because of me initially screwing up that I make it look like it's hard, but it's not. Actually, this particular Choco Break, <clears throat> we are going to use the Choco Sonar to its fullest potential. That way, we are going to, uh, find four specific Chocobo on the ground, and one right next to the Choco Boy. What's supposed to happen is, once you find these Chocobo, they will be, uh, bowled over by the one Chocobo near the Choco Boy. I missed a spot for the, for the fourth Chocobo, but you need to find summon the following three. First, you need to summon these three right here with the Choco Zener. One, two, three. Now I have to go back a ways and summon the other Chocobo. Unfortunately, I had to stop what I was doing, which is why I won't be able to. Hold on. I actually did show off where the spot was for the Choco Zener. I passed it up because it's right there. It's that green patch right behind the Chocobo. That will summon the fourth one. And then from there, you summon a spot right next to the Choco Boy. <clears throat> and that will summon this Chocobo... No. And summoning this Chocobo will actually have the Chocobo to go to that general direction and bowl the other Chocobo over. 
So yeah, that's how you're supposed to do this. But again, I was in the I was busy like contacting people and stuff like that, so I had to stop my recording. Also, my new job had a new contract for me, so yeah, that's why this is late. I had to go up there to sign it not too long ago. So, with that said, I am going to go on ahead and cut when I found the fourth one. Because I forgot to record it. Like an idiot. Now then, you summon this chocobo here. Now you, now you go over there and you use the Choco Zener to have the other Chocobo get bowled over. And that is the Chocobo right here that you need to talk to in order to get the mom. Or the big Chocobo. And there she is. Now then, you're going to have to use the Choco Sonar to find the uh, hidden treasure. <clears throat> now then, now where's the Choco Sonar? Uh, 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 uh. Bad past me. Get the Choco Sonar. Thank you. Yeah, it's right here, actually. No, eight, no, no, no. A little bit further. Oh, a little bit further. There it is. Now let's get the Choco Zener and let's get this Chocobo over here. And, with that said, we've gotten ourselves a Meteor Stone. Oh, that is great. Definitely good to harvest meteors with. Yeah, you have to actually refine it with high level magic, which uh, Alexander hasn't learned le yet. Yet, sorry. And I had a Flare Stone and an Ultima Stone, both of which can also be harvested anyway. The next Choco Break... Oh wait, by the way, that Choco Break right there was on the same island as uh, Edia's home. This one is on the same island where the Choco... where the uh, Cactuar Island is. <clears throat> That's where this Choco Break is. So, this one actually won't be that hard. What you want to do, you want to try to summon the Chocobos. You don't need a hint. What you need to do is get the one right here. Or use the Choco Zener. Right here at this point. This will actually summon two Chocobo. One. Two. Now then. You're gonna have to go a little ways farther in order for you to summon the third Chocobo. Now that one will move. You're gonna have to go by the rock to summon the other Chocobo and then to summon the last one from the back way and all four will appear and one will come out the treetops. I may make this look a little bit difficult than it needs to be, but that's because, again, I'm rusty at this game. Please forgive me. Alright, that's three. Now it's time to go way in the back. That's where this joke... That, see that rock back there in the background? That's where you contact the last Chocobo. So, I don't want to accidentally blow my whistle and get my whistle stolen, so let's get the Choco Sonar. It should be somewhere back here. Now let's get the Choco Zener. That makes four. Oh, you son of a bitch! Of course. I know I'm missing one. I know I am. Let's get the Choco Sonar. Alright, let's contact. Let's try to contact him from this rock first. One. 
two. Now then, let's go and use the Choco Sonar again and come here. Ah, uh, this still happens. Choco Sonar. <clears throat> this one can be frustrating, but this is the last one. I may have to go back though, but still, this one's the last one. Let's see, where... Oh, wait, wait, there was one right here? Yes, there was, actually. Oh, wait, that was the one that was just there. Okay. I need to check the Choco Zener and not get my whistle stolen. Oh, there was one right there! Wait, hold on, hold on. That's by the rock. That's the one that'll send the Chocobo to bring everyone down. There's one right there. That's the one I forgot to get. Now, the last one should be in the middle somewhere. Let's get my Choco Zener. No, I Choco Sonar, so, sorry. And I do believe it is right here. Yes. No, wait, nope, nope, nope. There it is. Wait, hold on, no. No. I know Renoa is dying, and yeah, she's probably on. She's probably dead by now. So, uh, yeah. Now that we've got these guys out the way, this is the chocobo we need to summon. Let's talk to that chocobo over there. Hey! Or, rather, talk to this one. And the mother should appear! Now then! Let's use the Choco Sonar to find out where the treasure is. The treasure should be on the far right right here. And I do believe we got ourselves some more stones to get. And I think this one's a Meteor Stone, Holy Stone, and an Ultima Stone. So I got two Ultimas to craft. Well, time for us to go. Let us ride off into the sunset and have ourselves some fun and also show you how to actually get there technically what you need to do oh sorry if the uh game is like uh dropping frame rates with the chocobo but i went the wrong way yeah see there was supposed to be a canyon somewhere around this area and you needed to cross through that canyon on foot because your uh, garden will not be able to make it through. The only other ship that will is a ship that we'll be getting later on in this disc. And that ship will actually be needed for two other side quests. So with that said, uh, wait, wait, what's that? Renoa's died? Oh man. Well guys, well, there's only one thing left to do. So, we bury her right here in this garden. Here lies Renoa. She never had a chance. May we all have a moment of silence. I'm just kidding, y'all! She's still alive! Actually, this is what happens if you actually missed a Chocobo Forest. And I think I know which one I missed. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let us go straight back to the one over in Trebia Garden. I'll be right back. And here we are. And after finally finding the Chocobo legitly and beating the Choco Boy in a card game and making him move, I managed to get a Flare Stone and a Holy Stone. And with that, now we are done with all of the chocobos. But not yet, actually. There's one last thing that needs to be done. Oh wait, no. Actually, now I get the uh, items that are here. I mean, I showed you where it was. The Chico... Oh wait, it's a Protect Stone and Meteor. The Chico Bow moves out the way, but the Chico Bow appears right where the Choco Bow is. So yeah, let's go back to the very first stage. Now, 
We need this particular ch well, actually more like the Trevia Garden one that's on the left. We need this particular chocobo in order for us to get to the area that we was in where we held Yuna's, uh, I mean, Renoa, sorry. Her eulogy, yes. Her eulogy. <laughs> if only that was actually true. But, on an actual brighter note, where are we going? That will actually be a place where we can always go once we get there the first time. So what we need to do is go on to this little island here. And here's the funny thing. Chocobos can actually walk on shallow water. So you will need the chocobo in order to walk on shallow... Oh. Oh. Yeah, I dropped the rank off screen too. Kinda sucks. I went up to rank 11, and I ended up dropping down to rank 10. You suck, game. You really suck. Anyway... We just have to follow the path. Guide our way through these bushes and thickets. I can't really see crap because we are not really in a place with high visibility here. You're only seeing where you are from the ruffling of the grass, so it's easily... So it's easy for you to get lost. I almost said easily. Sorry. So it's easy for you to get lost in this forest. Eventually, if you want to actually see where you are, just press the R1 button and it will zoom out so you'll be able to have a better look at where you are and your surroundings. I'll eventually think about it later, but for now, I think we are almost there anyway. Let's zoom out and hopefully see that if I am there or not. Wait, I'm going around in circles, damn it. And if I was to ever get off this chocobo, I'd never get off this island. Not at all. So, uh, yeah, with that said... Zoom out, RV man. Thank you. And now that I did, let's turn a little bit to the right. And there it is. See, I told you we'd zoom out and we'd find it. Now then, talk to the Choco Boy, and then we'll actually get the uh true ending of the Choco Break. As now we get to see Dancing Chocobo! Hooray! And they are dancing to the same music that Squall was forced to dance to dance with Renoa to. Yeah, remember the sea dance party where, where Renoa just walks up to Squall, even though she was still dating Cypher at the time, and invited him over to a dance. She just outright dumped Cypher. I mean, then again, who would want a pussy like him for a boyfriend? Anyway. The fact is, after the Chocobo dance, we are now able to talk to the Chicabo, and we will be able to get the Chicabo card! The Chocobo card, sorry. Also, we are able to get, uh... Oh, I still can't pronounce that word. Gisful Greens. And for those of you who are wondering, what are Gisful Greens here in this game? Well, it actually affects Chocobo World. As a matter of fact, there is an upgrade in Chocobo World where you can actually learn Choco Fire. Once your Chocobo reaches that level, you can also... Well, actually, once your Chocobo completes Chocobo World, you can also... <clears throat> use the Chocobo that you have to, uh, level up your chocobo with the Gistful Greens that you feed it. Once you feed it, well, here is the thing. That chocobo will end up giving you, uh, GF. Yeah, that's right. We did all of this for our chocobo GF. And like 
Odin, which we will get later on, choke the chocobo actually shows up randomly. You can't really junction it like talking about it. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this will end our Choco Break. While we're in the bushes here, and hopefully not losing any more rank, I'll just have to do some more seed tests to raise my rank. Right now I'm at what, level 10 in seed ranks? Oh wait, no, no, we got out easily. Cool. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, now that we're done with Choco Breaks, we have to go pick up our dead weight and continue on with the story. Yep. Or more along the lines of we're gonna have to meet Sorceress Edia at her home. So with that said, as I head over back to the airship, I will see you guys in part 56 when we prepare to go over to Sorceress Edia's house. There's not really much preparations to be made. I'll just go ahead and call it a game, and I will see you guys in the next part. Oh, and by the way, the Chocobo actually gives you 100 Guestful Greens for actually modding it. And it's not really that strong, to be honest. It's considered a GF card because, well, duh, it's a GF. However, that GF, uh, haha. <laughs> I think my my text message went off. Shut up, Noir! Shut up! Anyway, we're done here, so I'll see you guys in the next part. This is RVMan985. Forget what you just heard. Bye!